My name is Jennifer Lala and I teach seventh grade special education. Um, over the past couple of years, I have set up a data wall with my students during learning strategies class. And with that data wall, what my goal and what my hopes are is that the students will graph their IEP goal areas after every progress monitoring um, session. What we'll do is we will progress monitor on one day. The next day, um, I will conference with each of, of them individually. We'll um, make their graphs and they will graph their data for that particular pro. My hopes was that the students would take more ownership of their learning and understand what they're working towards, which is ultimately to have no IEP. So with their, with what my goals are is that each student will understand their goals and understand what they're working towards um, by being their goals and understand also how we write their goals. A lot of the times it's just a number that they see, but we talk, I really try and talk about with them how those numbers are developed. By ha the students creating their own data wall and ha graphing their IEP goals, I have noticed that the students have been taking more ownership at their IEP meeting. They are able to, a lot of my students are able to walk through the entire IEP on their own with a structured PowerPoint format, but with us doing these goals, they understand the goals and they are able to communicate with the parents what their goals are. A lot of them have a visual aid of what their numbers are and where everything's at, and I know that um, setting that line of where they should be, like that is where we want you to be, um, and whenever they can get past that that goal line, they, they just get really excited. So having that visual aid is a really good tool for them to see, okay, well I'm down here right now, but I know I need to be up here, and eventually I really want to get past that goal line and get even higher than that. So having that piece of it to even just help them keep track of things is very good. The greatest um, benefit from this would just be student ownership and student advocacy. Um, the students are able to become more ind independent and able to function on their own. Um, they, they can set those internal goals, that internal motivation is just getting those good scores and seeing that, seeing that growth without having like that token economy or those items given to them. They are seeing that um, on their own, like they wanna do well, they don't need to be given something to do well by graphing it and keeping that consistent. Um, these data walls will help improve all that, that internal motivation to do well, who's that self-understanding that I can do this and I can do better and here's where I want my goals to be.